What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Happy New Year's to all of you. In this video, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the contest that I just did. As you can see, I put some plexiglass. I kind of just cut it and put it over the tank. I actually got this plexiglass for free from a buddy. When I helped uh, Tim move his tank, he had a bunch of uh, stuff he was throwing away and uh, I picked it up. The reason I did this is I'm trying to keep my evap uh, down. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of moisture right there. And the reason why is because my tank is evaporating too much ATO water. I guess it's because I have the heater on, but uh, it is evaporating. I did use a 10 gallon aquarium. Uh, I picked it up from the dollar per gallon. I had it. And uh, when I was talking about the heater, I wasn't talking about like a heater for the sump. I was talking about my heater for my house. So hopefully those lids work um, and help out a little bit. I'm also going to skin the tank. Just haven't had a chance to do it yet. You know, with the Christmas and the holidays and all that good stuff. I did find my MaxSpec Gyre controller. And uh, when I found it, I felt like it was Christmas because I was looking all over for this dang thing. Um, in my garage, all over the place. And um, I couldn't find it. So the Gyre was just hanging in my tank. Uh, not being used, but I finally found the controller, so it's excellent. I also picked up these gloves from Walmart, um, Playtex gloves. Just, they're pretty nice for messing around with the tank. Um, I do want to maybe get some better gloves that go all the way up to your elbows. But, uh, for these things being pretty cheap, I'm just going to go ahead and use these for my, uh, tank. I'm trying to reduce some of the frag racks that I have, but I couldn't throw this one away. I got this as a gift from uh, Primo Reef and Acrylics. Um, he had sent it with some suction cups, which uh, really didn't work out, but the rack worked out pretty nice, so I just added a magnet. So this is the uh, basic aquascape of the tank. As you can see, the uh, live rock. I do have frags all over the place. I am going to tell you I do like the uh, six-foot tank, but with the bigger tank, you need bigger lights. But uh, so far, it's pretty working out pretty well. What I do plan on doing is adding my T5s and instead of running the T5 side by side, I'm going to do it the full length of the front of the tank. Uh, so that way, you know, since my lights don't really cover the whole tank, um, my corals won't be suffering because they'll be getting the uh, T5 lighting. Now, once I get my coral situation in order and get up all these frags off the floor and kind of clean up my tank and make it look a little bit better. I do plan on getting a few more fish. Um, I do want to get, you know, maybe a couple tanks. A yellow eye cold tank would be sweet. Uh, powder brown would be awesome, or a powder blue would be an awesome addition. Um, kind of leaning more towards the uh, powder brown, but it just depends on what uh, the my LFS has. I would like to get some uh, fire fish, um, but I need to cover up the top of the tank a little bit better. Um, because those fish are known for jumping. And then I would like to get uh, a bunch of little small fish. Uh, one of the small fish that I want is a purple dotty back. Um, I had it one in a 120 and I just love that fish. It was an awesome little fish, you know. And uh, maybe some smaller fish. Also interested in the antheas. Um, what kind of antheas? I, I don't know, but maybe three or four antheas would be sweet. And uh, I think that would probably be it for the tank. Um, maybe uh, a couple of chromies, but uh, the uh, other chromies that I did have, I gave it away with uh, my 24 gallon when I did that trade. But that'll be uh, until later, once I get my coral situation under control, um, get these frags glued up and uh, out of the way. And then uh, I'm probably still gonna add some sand. Um, but I'm not really in a rush right now. I did find my siphon to the uh, water hose, what I used to uh, suck up the water for the sand. So that's great. I won't be using my mouth anymore um, because I learned my lesson on that one. Now for this tank, I'm thinking about getting some new lights. Uh, the Reef Breeders version 2 photons is what, what I'm actually running, but it's the 50 inch. Um, since I got a bigger tank, I need like more light spread. And I'm thinking about the uh, regular Photon 
version 2s, but the 32 inches, I would need two of those. Or I'm looking at these Sunrise LEDs that they sell, but I'm not really too sure if, uh, you know, they would be able to keep uh, SPS alive. So if any of you guys have any, uh, let me know. I'd, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I looked it up on YouTube and I really didn't see a whole lot of videos. Also, uh, I think the Sunrise might be more for uh, softies. Now, last week I won the uh, Boyd Kimmy Pure pack that uh, Danny's Reef Tank did. And uh, I started using that Vitachem. Um, started, as you can see, it's really milky, cloudy type of deal. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and target feed my corals with it. Um, they seem to react pretty well. And uh, we'll see how it goes with this uh, stuff. I really didn't even use a whole lot. But as soon as I opened it, I did refrigerate it. Um, just so it will last a little bit longer. The only thing that I use is Acro Power, and uh, when I use the Acro Power, I don't target feed anything. I just spray it in the uh, water and in the water column, and then just let it float around. But I'm interested to see how this uh, Vitachem works out. If it works out pretty good, then I'll continue to use it. Um, I did use uh, Reef Chili. I I've had that Reef Chili forever, and it it works pretty good. And then um, Coral Frenzy, I use that, and then uh, I might try that Polyp Labs later on. But for the most part, I'm just going to keep using this bottle up, see how it works out, and I'll let you guys know. Whatever you guys use, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm interested to see how it's working out for you. I did go to my LFS store and picked up a uh, nice size chocolate chip starfish. It was like $5. And the uh, sad thing is, this little guy right here is going to go straight in my tank. And then my harlequin shrimp is probably going to find them and uh, go to town. Ended up going back to the hardware store to pick up some super glue gel. As you can see, I picked up a whole bunch of uh, packs. I do like the BSI glue, but um, you know what? This stuff was $2 and it works pretty good. So I probably will order some more BSI, but for now this will work. Also picked up a uh, another fish tank, guys. This is a 20 gallon tall. I was talking to my boy Vish about it. And uh, I'm going to use this one as an auto top off. Now the best way to break the stems off are with some vice grips. You just stick it on the base of there and just squeeze away and that stem will break off. Um, that's what I did and I did it over and over again. Then I attached the uh, super glue and then went ahead and glued it onto the rock. It's real easy guys. You just snap it. Put a little pressure right there and that stem will break off like a hot knife on butter. Now I just want to go ahead and say thank you again to all of you who uh, subscribe. You know, it's a lot of fun guys. I enjoy putting out these videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Um, so I did a contest and 20 people uh, spit down the lyrics to a Guns N' Roses song. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a lucky winner who is number 14, Lee Master Reef. And uh, congratulations, I'll be contacting you. You have your choice between uh, a Marine Depot or a Bulk Reef Supply gift certificate. So I'll contact you, send me your email address, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Have a good one. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.